Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be re-reviewing Parakeet Slimes. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say really quickly, make sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. Turn on those notifications and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And with that, let's get into this video. Starting off with Pineapple Peach Ring Gummy, I have noticed that this slime... When I first got it, it was a, obviously it's a clear base and it was a little cloudy because it is scented. I noticed after a while it kind of doesn't clear up anymore. I'm not sure if that's because of the scent or what happened with that, but I don't really have a problem with it because it was cloudy in the first place and this kind of cloudiness suits the name anyways. So the slime is still super thick, like I remember, super glossy, and the scent has definitely stayed like a lot. So I know for a lot of slimes, after about a month or so, they'll kind of deteriorate a little bit or lose their scent, and this one definitely kept it, and I do play with this one very periodically. Over the course of a month, I have had to activate it, I think, two or three times, and I will have to activate it again. I can tell it's getting sticky, but that's perfectly normal, especially for clear slimes, so it's not a big deal to me. Another thing that I found pretty impressive was that the foam beads didn't lose their color. They're still like the yellow and orange color that they were at the beginning, so I think that's really nice as well. Overall, I would still give this slime a 5 out of 5. It definitely held up, and I don't really see anything wrong with it. I do want to mention while I'm putting it back in the container that it still leaves that sticky residue as it did on day one. I do have quite a lot of her clear slimes now since she's been doing deals all month and I've noticed that that is the case for most of them. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not sure if she hasn't perfected her um, clear slime recipe yet or what's going on with that. But it's no problem to me. I mean it's a little annoying but it happens especially with clear slime so that's perfectly normal. On to the other one that I bought, which is Sweet Tarts Milk. This one held up pretty well as well. It did deflate a crap ton, and I'm not really sure what happened, but apparently I attracted a lot of hairs into this, which is pretty freaking gross. I'm not really sure how. I know that the surface that I use is, like, really clean. I scrub this thing before I do any videos, so I'm not really sure what the heck happened to this. So let me deal with the hair problem, and then we'll get into the re-reveal. So I do believe I got most of the hairs out, and even before that, it deflated quite a lot. I would say this is about a 5 ounce now, give or take, but slimes do deflate. I usually don't notice it in thick slimes, so that's pretty interesting to me, but I, again, I just think that's perfectly normal, and I don't really take off points for deflating unless it deflated, like, you know, at least like 3 or 4 ounces, because that is a little extreme. I have not um, added any activator to this slime since I got it, so it definitely held up over the month. It has not melted, and it's been pretty hot where I live, so that's pretty nice. It's still super glossy, super stretchy, and the scent is still pretty on point. I know that the scent did kind of leave the slime a little bit, especially more than the pineapple peach ring one, but that's no problem. I think I played with this one a little more, and... Like I said, with the other one, slime or scent leaving the slime is like super duper normal. Oh, 
Overall, I will also give this slime a 5 out of 5. It held up really, really well. And besides it deflating, which happens quite a lot, there's really nothing wrong with this one either. So I am super duper happy that these held up. I know I made a, I've made a lot of videos of parakeet slimes lately, but she did do deals all month, and I couldn't help but snatch, especially after I got these two and how impressed I was. I grew a whole collection, so um, there's a couple more that I have that I haven't filmed. If you guys want to see those, please let me know down below. I have, I think, this one and one more of hers to upload and then I could make another one if you guys want to see it. It'll be a little messed up because they have been like mixed or messed with or anything like that but if you guys would just want to see it maybe quickly maybe on my Instagram whatever you guys want do let me know and I would be happy to show them off. The only reason I didn't was because I thought that it might get a little repetitious that I'm doing the same slime shop over and over again but Parakeet Slimes definitely has won my heart over many times and she's just a really sweet girl she has really nice slimes and everything like that there's only been a couple hiccups with her um especially with her last restock i don't know if anyone was part of that but there was a little mix up with the codes like some of them weren't working the first two weren't working for me so i had to wait until the very last code and i missed out on a slime that i really wanted so things like that happen but Besides that, sh like, I can't really say anything bad about this shop, so, well done. So I know this is one of my shorter videos, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, of course, subscribe down below. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see next. I definitely am wanting to do some more underrated shops or some reviews for you guys or whatever you guys want. Just let me know down below. That will mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!